Hello again, sixth grade math, Miss Fleming back at it to do some more problems. Um, I just filmed a video for your worksheet for the day about mean absolute deviation. Now I'm going to do a couple problems on IXL. These are the same type of problems, just a different format, a different look. So again, when we find the mean of absolute deviation, we have to find the sum of the absolute value from all the numbers in the data and then that sum divided by the total number of numbers in the data is your mean absolute deviation. So the first thing we need to do is find the mean of this data. So first we will do that. Let me get my screen writer out. I'll do orange now. All right. So we have nine plus two, that is 11, plus two, is 13 plus 9 is 22 plus 9 is 31 plus 1 is 32 plus 3 is 35. So we knew we know we need to divide um, something by 35. That something is the total amount of numbers that are here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we need to do 35 divided by seven, seven, 14, 21, 28, 35. Seven divided by 35 is five. So our mean for the data is five, but we are not done yet. Now we have to take each number and subtract five from it. So 9 minus 5, 2 minus 5, 2 minus 5, 9 minus 5, 9 minus 5, 1 minus 5, and 3 minus 5. 9 minus 5 is 4, 2 minus 5 is negative 3, negative 3, 4, 4, that is negative four and negative two. So another thing about finding the mean of absolute deviation is we have to add all these together, but we need the absolute value of these numbers. So there's no negative or positive, it is just the number. So the absolute value of four is four, the absolute value of negative three is three, again three, four, four, we need the absolute value, which will be four. Again, the absolute value, which is two. Now, to find the mean absolute deviation, we add all of those numbers together, all of those absolute numbers. And again, we're gonna divide by seven, because that's, or not seven, five, because that's how many numbers. No, there is seven, sorry getting ahead of myself. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we are going to divide this sum by seven. So I will do that math over here. Four plus three is seven. Plus three is 10. Plus four is 14. Plus four is 18 plus four is 22 plus two is 24. So we need to divide uh, 24 by seven. I'll do that over here. So we have 24 by seven. And this tells us here round to the nearest 10th. Seven goes into two zero times, bring it down, or sorry, bring it down. Seven goes into 24, seven, 14, 21, 28. Too many, so we have to go with the lesser one, seven, 14, 21. Three times, seven times three is 21. Four minus one is three, two minus two is zero. We now have a decimal, we bring an imaginary zero. 7, 14, 21, 28, we know four times because five would be too many. That is 28, we had to borrow, and that's two, 10 minus eight is two, 
bring down a zero, 7, 14, 21 would be two times. We are only rounding to the nearest tenth, so I look back at that. Two is less than five, which means I do not round up, so my answer for this problem will be 3.4. It is a lot of steps, especially with Excel doesn't give you a little uh, box to fill out like your worksheet that you have for the day is. If you would like me to do more problems on this, I can. Um, let me know if you need some explanation. If you're not sure about something, let me know. But I'm going to stop that this video here. And hopefully you guys understand this. This helps and you have a good rest of your day.